G'day, my name's David Troy, and this is the David Troy Salon. So, the haircut I'm doing today is it's very similar to Pink's hair. Um, well, it's not the haircut she has now, but it's a haircut that she did support, um, I think about a year ago, where it's really tapered in the back, but um, it, it blends up and it's soft in the front. She wears it more forward and down, like this picture, like this, like this one right here. But as you can see, she's had some different styles, but I really do like this haircut, and I'm gonna break it down for you, and I'm gonna explain to you the color I'm using and why I use it, and even the haircut. So let's just jump right into it and um, let me know what you think. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take off the back before I even start coloring it. This is a number three guard, so I like to just scoop that out, pushing the clippers right up against the head, and then scooping it when I get to the top to make sure it blends through just a little bit, but I am going to go back over all this. So my go-to color is a synchro lift, I'm going to use a 20 volume, I'm going to start by sectioning it off just to make sure we don't overlap anything and try not to get it on the ends. So again, a very important factor, you can see when I'm applying this color, I'm sort of dabbing the color on, making sure that it's sitting on the hair. I see a lot of people paint this color on and push the color off the hair, so we're not getting the true value of what we're trying to do here. So to get the true benefit of using this color, you want to saturate the front and the back of the section. So I'm going to let this process for about 30 minutes, and then I'm going to go through it with the PM Shine, the 9V toner. I absolutely love the way this color turned out. So now that we've already clipped the bottom, my first section of the haircut, I'm going to take a triangle section, and I'm just going to connect that bottom part right to the occipital bone. So we're going to keep a little bit of weight on top, because we want the length to be on top, but again, this haircut, I want it to go forward. So you can see when I'm taking the section, it's going to be on a slight angle, but when I'm cutting, I'm pushing the hair forward, because that's the way I want the shape to go. Okay, again with like all my haircuts, my sections are really clean, so I'm not having to go back over it too much. But each section that I take, after cutting the hair, I'm pushing it down, just making sure that it is connecting to that bottom part. So now moving on to the side, I've, I'm just taking diagonal forward sections, just connecting it all, going up and over the ear, making sure that it's nice and clean. Now it's very important to always double check your work. You can see here I want the hairline to be really tight, so just double checking everything as I'm doing it. But again, just that diagonal forward section, dragging it slightly back, making sure everything's connected. So after doing both sides, now I move on to the top, the crown area, and you can see I'm just going through and point cutting this whole section, pulling it straight up at 90, just point cutting it, connecting it to the side, again pushing the hair forward because I want the whole haircut to come forward. So after drying it completely, what I love to use on short haircuts now is this Locked Salon Guys hairspray. It's a matte finish and it gives it a really gritty sort of texture. I love it. I love the finish. I love the technique. It's just a great spray, great haircut. I couldn't be more excited about this. I think it turned out really well. I absolutely love the whole thing.
Hey, don't forget to go back and watch some of my other videos so you know who I am, so you know what I'm capable of doing, so you know where I come from, um, a little bit about me. you got to watch some of my other videos to get an understanding of who I am and whether or not you like my channel. So, I really hope you like it. Please hit that thumbs up, hit that um, subscribe button, and leave a comment down below. Let me know what you think. 